Hello everybody, thank you for joining me again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to chain cross-site scripting into an account takeover. So cross-site scripting as you all know just executes some JavaScript on the, on the computer of your target. Uh, and I'm going to use the damn vulnerable web application to demonstrate. I'm going to do some basic cross-site scripting first. So I'm going to uh, put a confirm tag in here see if this works so script and then I'm going to sign my guest book and as you can see the value is stored in the HTML code now to get an account takeover I've opened my developer console and I've opened my storage tab as you can see on my local host I have a few cookies set the most important one is the PHP session ID now as you can see there are a few flags that can be set on these specific cookies um, when the HTTP only flag is set to true, right now it is set to false, but when I set it to true, I will not be able to access this specific cookie from my JavaScript. I can only access it from the HTTP. Um, secure means that it can only be set on an HTTPS connection. Uh, and same site, well, that's pretty obvious. So I'm going to give you guys a, a code snippet real quick. So uh, again, I open my script tag. I put in an alert JavaScript function and I, this time I want to alert my document.cookie. So I want to see what cookies I have in my guestbook. First we're going to receive the pop-up from the previous alert that we inserted. And now we get all of the cookies. And as you can see, I can just access this PHP session ID. Now I'm going to change a few things here. I'm going to put HTTP only to true, clear my guestbook real quick, and then I'm going to sign again. Uh, and as you can, oh, I'm going to of course have to fill in a name. As you can see, I can no longer access the cookie. Uh, now only security as low is returned. So there are a few things you can do in this case. You can, for example, just create your own cookie. You can do document.create document.cookies, and you can insert your own cookie on a different path. For example, I can go insert my own session ID in the vulnerabilities path, and maybe depending on the configuration of the server. Uh, it will take your session ID and perform the actions using your user instead of the one that is locked in. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, in this case, if I can steal the cookie, so if this is the case, there is a website I want to show you guys called XSS Hunter. So XSS Hunter is pretty much a tool that allows you to find any type of, uh, type of cross-site scripting uh, vulnerability because when I when I am able to get the cookies, so now I put my HTTP only flag to false again, I'm going to reload the page. As you can see now I can get my cookie, but this is only executing on the target computer, so no way that I'm seeing this on my computer and I need this value to take over an account. So what I have to do is get this session ID somewhere over to me, uh, and to do that I usually use XSS Hunter. Now what XSS Hunter does is it gives you a couple of payloads, for example this one, it opens a script tag, um, it puts in a source and if you register for XSS Hunter, if you sign up, um, you get a few payloads that you can insert into your fields and those payloads are specifically tailored to, for example, bypass content security protection. Um, there are a lot of payload probes uh, in there. Um, one of the cool things about XSS Hunter is that it allows you to look for blind XSS as well. So for example, if I were to take this um, specific script and insert it in here, into my message, and I would sign this as a guest book, of course it would have to have my subdomain in it. It'll execute some code to get the cookies and send them over to XSS Hunter. So that way XSS Hunter will tell you cookies can be stolen and it can be sent over to a, an external source pretty much. Um, so that's pretty much what how you can do account takeovers with cross-site scripting. You just have to make sure you can steal the cookie. If you can steal the cookie, there are other ways, but it's going to be a lot harder, of course. Uh, one thing you can also do with cross-site scripting is find any information that is on the page. For example, here the name. 
I can take the names and I can send them to an external server um, that's not really that useful in this situation but say for example you're able to insert a cross-site scripting vector into an invoice that way you can get all the items on the invoice and send them to an external server that would be pretty nasty of course not something we would want so that's pretty much how you chain cross-site scripting into account takeover you have to make sure that you are able to steal the flags uh, the cookies if you're not able to steal the cookie try to insert your own cookie on a different path um, try to steal the data that is on the page that's also a good one um, or try to do any action as the user because you can do any JavaScript you want so for example you can just click on here um, or for example you can just make some code that automatically uh, put something in the name put something in the message and signs the guest book so it will be like um, I don't know if you guys remember MySpace um, but there was a post on there that would replicate itself I think there was also a self retweeting tweet a while ago those are all examples of cross-site scripting so um, thank you guys for watching I hope this was useful to you please leave a like if you thought this was useful and I hope I'll see you in the next video bye